what's the difference between hardware and software? Hardware is, is that a, a browser versus mobile device thing? Or, you know, where yeah. is software DRM and where is hardware? So uh, the difference is in the implementation of the DRM client itself. And so uh, if you basically want to uh, get the, the uh, highest security uh, certificate from either uh, you know, Google or uh, Microsoft for their DRM systems, uh, you essentially have to bake in their DRM client uh, into the secure video path of the system. So that means a tight coupling with the hardware uh, decoder as well. So that essentially when you send, uh, you know, a video stream to the uh, decoder, once it, once it goes past the decoder, there's no getting those bits back, right? So essentially once you send it to the decoder, at that point, it, it's secure decoding and secure decryption. Uh, well, first, I guess, secure decryption and secure decoding, and then it goes straight to the render, right? And so there's no API call that you can make as an application that says, now that you've you know, decrypted and decoded these bits, like, I, you know, hand them back to me. And so that's, a, that's typically called a secure video path or secure media path. And so that's what you get with a hardware-based DRM. Um, Software-based DRM, you know, does either some or all of those uh, uh, aspects of decoding and decryption in software, and therefore there's a risk that you know some somebody could essentially uh, hack that that path at some point and get those decoded bits back and be able to you know steal the content. So if I'm watching uh, 265 on a browser without hardware support. I'm likely to be limited in the resolution I can view if it's premium content because the the publisher says if it I don't want anything larger than you know 360p going to software. Exactly, yeah. And and uh, today, for example, uh, if you're using Chrome, for example, uh, so Widevine DRM is uh, available in Chrome, uh, but only L3, which is the software-based uh, 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 implementation of of Widevine. And so uh, oftentimes if you're using Chrome, you actually get worse video quality with some of the premium streaming services, services than if you're using Edge or Safari, for example, because both Safari on Mac and Edge on Windows do support hardware DRM because they, they are just more tightly integrated with the operating system. And so they're able to essentially achieve that secure video path between the browser and the operating system and the output.